Hello friends and welcome to another video of Travel Tech and I know you guys have been waiting a lot for this video because in this video I am going to show you how to download and install the Speedview GPS for your Digipad. Now this speedometer as you are seeing on the screen right now is one of the most fabulous apps that are available for the Digipad and you can now right now download it and install it in your Digipad and make your Digipad glow up like this. It is extremely accurate uh, speedometer app and as I have tested and I have been testing it from the past few days and compared to the previous speedometer which I had brought out this app speed uh, accuracy is extremely good and much better compared to the Ulysses speedometer which I had shown previously and not to mention this app just enhances the aesthetic of your car enhances the look and feel of the interior of your car because of its black background and of course the blue dial which are totally customizable and you can get various colors and various dimensions to it now if you are interested in downloading and installing in this app for your digipad make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button of my channel because it's not just this I'm, i have already brought out many more interesting and fun filled apps for digipad and i'm going to bring that out bring out many more such apps for digipad in the future also so if you don't want to miss those updates if you don't want to miss such exciting stuff for your car and for your digipad then make sure you go ahead and you hit that subscribe button and of course don't forget to like this video also because this video has taken a lot of effort in making and planning out so make sure you go ahead and like that video as well and as you are seeing on the screen right now the digipad is looking fabulous it's looking extremely good so now i have already told a lot about this app i have shown you in the previous demo video also regarding this app i think you all have been liking it and all you have been waiting to get this so now let's, let's just go ahead and i'll stop talking about the app and i'll actually go up and show you how you can download and install it on your digipad so let's get started So let's just begin with the downloading and the installation video of the Speedview GPS app for the Digipad. So in order to download and install you need to find a pen drive or an SD card. The SD card which you usually insert it in your Digipad or the pen drive which you use to hear music songs. So you can use that pen drive or the SD card. So in this case in this video I am going to use this Sony pen drive and right now I am going to insert it in the USB drive or my laptop. So once I plug it in. So that is one thing done. So you can copy the app onto this pen drive. So the next thing which you need to do in order to download the app is open the Google Chrome browser of your laptop or your PC. So once the Google Chrome browser has opened, just click on the URL search bar and type in the address which I am going to show you. And that is going to be bit.ly slash traveltech, T-R-A-V-E-L-T-E-C-H S-V-G-P-S. So this is the URL address guys that is bit.ly slash traveltech svgps. So once you have typed in this address just press on the enter button and wait for the Google Drive page to load. So make sure you get this uh, name on the left side of your screen that is the Speedview GPS by Traveltech. So once you have gotten this name you can go ahead and download the app. So there is a download button right here in the center of the screen so just go ahead and click on the download button right there and wait for it to download on your laptop. So it is going to ask you to select a folder to save the file so right now I have selected the desktop and just click on the save button and uh, as you can see the app has already downloaded it is showing a download complete dialog box right below. So once that is done so let's just go to the desktop and see there is an app right here on the desktop which has been saved so I'll just go ahead and send it to my pen drive which I have inserted right here. So let's just right click on it and click on send to. So this is your Sony my pen drive so I am just going to click on that. So this is the copying bo dialog box that is going to start and it is going to end up pretty soon. So now it has copied so just let's just go ahead and confirm if the 
copying has completed and if the pen drive has the file or not so i just opened up the pen drive and as you can see there is a speed view gps app by travel tech in the pen drive so now this once this done half the work is done and the app is now successfully downloaded via pc or your via laptop and of course put it on the pen drive as well so now you just have to go ahead and insert this pen drive on the usb drive of your car of your digipad and then from there i will show you how to install it using the es file manager so let's just go ahead so as you just saw i just downloaded and transferred the file app transferred the apk file on my pen drive now i'm going to insert the pen drive in the usb drive of the car and i'm going to insert it below the armrest so here is the usb port of our wrv and i'm going to insert the pen drive right there so there you go the pen drive has been inserted and it is going to get recognized in the digipad so in order to access the pen drive or the pen drive contents in the digipad make sure you have the es file explorer downloaded and installed on your digipad and in case you don't have it make sure you go ahead and get back to my channel and just check on how to download and install the es file manager i'll also leave a link in the description below if you haven't downloaded and installed it as of yet so uh, the pen drive has been detected as you saw the music player opened up automatically so i'll just go ahead and open the es file explorer in order to access the pen drive So once the ES file explorer opens up just click on the three buttons three top dots right on the left top corner of the screen and click on the home page button so it is going to take you to the home page and here is the uh, pen drive which is written as a u disk 2 uh, 28.85 gb so this is my pen drive and i can access it on the digipad using this es file manager so i'm just going to click on that and as you can see there is an app written here called speed view so this is the app we just downloaded from the internet on our laptop and transferred it to the pen drive so let's just go ahead and click on the app now it is going to ask to install the application so just click on the install button and now since i've already have the app in my digipad it is asking me to replace it but in your case in your digipad it won't be installed previously so you won't get this uh, dialog box you will directly get this option to install the app so just go ahead and click on the install button and let's just see how well it installs <coughs> So the app has been installed now you just go ahead you can open the app and just wait for the application to load onto the ram and once it uploads it will start detecting the gps and it will uh, try to zero in on your position and based on that it will start showing up your speed once your car starts moving so this is the most beautiful and the most elegant looking speedometer apps for the digipad and as you saw just now while moving especially at night it is going to look extremely awesome and extremely good and not that only at night even in the morning time you know in the daytime as you're seeing on the screen right now it gives sort of a complete look to the dashboard of the honda wrv it sort of forms a symmetrical and symbiotic relationship with the whole display which you are seeing from your driver seat right now and of course as i I told you this uh, colors are extremely customizable you can change the colors of this uh, dial right now so what you need to do is you just need to swipe left and uh, it's going to show you the options on also that round dial is going to stay on the right side of the screen and if you want to go back you just have to swipe to the left so once you swipe right it shows up the options and once you swipe left it is going to come back to its original state so it's a very easy to handle very easy to access the options and to access the whole dial on the home screen of the app itself so once you have these options there are not much many options which is actually a good thing so the more options there are the more you have to rack your head so there are very simple options so just go ahead into the settings button and once you click on the settings it is going to show you the various amounts of colors which is which are available for the dial and currently the last four are only available for the pro version of this app and the starting four versions starting four colors are available for at your disposal you can change them to any color you like so let's just go ahead and click on the dark maroon or the brown so this gets in brown color so there's a sky blue color there's a mint green and there's a orange color so this is the colors so let's just go ahead and click on the mint green i'll just click on the back button and uh, let's see if it turns out yes so as you can see the 
whole dial has turned green the background color of the dial is turned green and even the letters are in the green color so like that you can change the colors up to four colors uh, and uh, that is going to look really nice and especially if you want to match it with your uh, home digipad i mean the home dashboard the blue color of the dashboard it can get matched onto the uh, digipad screen as well i'll just go ahead and show that as well also so let's just go to the settings button and click on the blue color dial so once you click on the blue color dial just click on the back button so you get a blue colored letters and a blue colored dial which uh, gel really well with the home dashboard with the home settings or the analog dashboard of our car and, and it looks very nice and very neat and the dial is of course as i showed you in previously and i showed you in this video it's a very elegant a very smart looking digital dashboard and once your car starts moving you can experience this very nicely and it's going to give you a very good feel while driving your car so this is the method you need to uh, use in order to download and install the app on the digipad and of course you can download and install it directly on the digipad as well you need not uh, go ahead and do it on the laptop or a pc but i showed you that method because most of the people who are trying to download the apps are facing a parsing error and i don't want you to face a passing error i want you to uh, download and install the app successfully on your digipad so make sure you if in case you have a parsing error go ahead and try the laptop method which i just showed you right now and in case you are able to download it directly on the digipad it saves you a lot of work just go ahead click on the firefox button and type in the same url address which i showed you just now and that is bit.ly slash t r a v e l t e c h s v g p s so once you type in this the same url address which you just typed in in your laptop so just go ahead and click on the go button so that is going to open up the google drive page from where you can download the app directly on your digipad and you need not go and download it on your laptop and then transfer it to pen drive and insert it here so that's actually a long method but that makes sure you don't get a passing error so right now here the google drive page has opened so just click on the download button in the center of the screen and wait for the download to begin so it is going to ask to which uh, how many times it has to be used firefox so i'll just click on the just once button right here so the download has started so if i just drag down it is going to show me the download completion dialog box and show me the status of the download and of course on top here it is showing the signal strength on the current strength of the internet and if you want this in your digipad as well you can go ahead and check out the internet speed meter app on my channel so the download has completed so i'll just click on the download complete dialog box and again it's going to ask me to replace the application because i have already installed it i'll just click on the okay so i'll just click on the install button and now it is installing from the app which has been directly downloaded on the digipad and not via the laptop method so here you go guys the app has been directly downloaded on the digipad using the firefox browser so even this is possible and in case in your digipad it shows up a parsing error it shows the, that the download did not complete properly or it showed that the package did not open properly you can go ahead and download it on the smartphone on your own smartphone also and you can download it on your laptop or on your pc and just install it just the way which i showed you so that you don't face any parsing error and that you are able to do it successfully so this is the app guys you can go ahead and download and install it right away on your digipad and start using it and of course give me a feedback of how you feel after you have downloaded and installed this on your digipad and if you like the effort which has been gone down behind in making this video and in trying to bring in such a beautiful app in front of you for our digipad then go ahead support me by subscribing to my channel don't forget to do that and of course like this video i will appreciate that a lot and also comment below on how you found out this app to be and how you found out the detailed video explanation to be so that's it guys this is travel tech signing off i hope you enjoy watching this digipad speedometer have a really nice day